Hey guys, this is George from The Roman Show, and I'm here with TNA Superstar. Of course, I'm talking about Rebel. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How are you enjoying here in Miami? Enjoying the CCW crowd? How's everything so far? So far, so good. Miami, uh, we're Co Coral Springs, to be exact, <laughs> um, is awesome. Florida is awesome. The crowd is here early and vibrant, so I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty crazy fun show. But no, no, most definitely. So let's start talking about a couple things here, uh, Miss Rebel. First and foremost, being a, not a stranger of Florida, you of course started, well, one of your first promotions was with TNA. Uh, we found out, of course, that you were recommended by a former co-worker, uh, Christy Hemi, that got you into TNA. Tell me, how did that go? How did that feel actually getting into one of the biggest majors promotions after you just started in 2014 going into TNA then? You know, I played full contact, full contact tackle football, so I was no stranger to like getting rough and tough and fighting with girls. But um, wrestling's a whole another beast, and I tell you what, I fell in love with it day one as soon as I started training. So, and I haven't stopped ever since. Uh, getting to work with one of your closest friends uh, with the perfect of the Perfect Angels, uh, Christy Hemi and TNA. How did that feel? Did that feel good working with one of your bestest friends in the business? It's always fun to work with uh, your friends. Oh, most of, and now that we're talking about friends, actually, uh, let's talk about one of a good close friend. Uh, it, he inspired many. Uh, he was actually one of your trainers, but he was also a friend of yours. Matt Copatelli lost his life, uh, you know, not too long ago to to cancer. God bless you, Matt. Uh, thank you very much for everything you've inspired everyone with. You know, when we heard about his loss, his wife, of course, continues on uh, campaigning about cancer uh, and, of course, goes to churches and ex speaks about her ex the experiences. This is a man that trained you and also was a friend of yours back from OVW. How does that feel? I mean, it definitely is sad. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to describe it. Matt was such a light here on Earth, and I know he's shining down on his wife and his family. Um, I have... I consider it an honor to get to, to get to know him as a person and as and as a, definitely an honor to have him as my my coach and um, yeah so it's, it's a it's a sad sad loss and um, I always think about him so no most definitely as a matter of fact he still lives on by, with many up to this day uh, with many OVW alumni, including yourself, Mr. Matt Stryker, that's here behind us as well. But let's talk about OVW as well. Uh, you know, Al Snow just recently purchased OVW. This is where you started training. Uh, what do you think about Al Snow? Like, of course, you worked with him in TNA. Now you find out he's the new owner of OVW. Uh, what's that? That's very exciting. I love Al Snow. Uh, anyone that um, he graces his knowledge with is um, going to be... Um, ex ex exceptional because he knows his stuff and I think OVW has gained something really special with him taking over so can we ever see, can we ever see you back in OVW or TNA for that matter <laughs> well I was just uh, wrestling at Brain back la last night so oh. <laughs> but um, yeah I'm always everywhere you just you know tune into Rebel Tanea R-E-B-E-L-T-A-N-E-A -E -E on all my uh, social media, Instagram, Twitter. I always post where I'm going to be next, so you never know. Thank you so very much for your time. I really appreciate your time here. Uh, guys, this is George from The Roman Show, again, with TNA Superstar Rebel, OVW Superstar as well. Guys, we'll catch you next time. Thank you.